Thanks for tuning into our podcast. We love having you here, and it's our mission to bring you all the latest and greatest tips, skills, and know-how to make you the best that you can be. We know that you have it in you, and we're going to show you how. Now, now, let's get started. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Parafair today. And today's topic is talking about wet pants. What? Wet pants? Yes, wet pants. We'll be talking about wet pants today in our story to kind of explain what the wet pants mean means to the main character in our story. So let's sit back, let's watch the story, and uh, we'll join you in a few seconds. All right. There is a nine-year-old kid sitting at his desk, and all of a sudden, there is a puddle between his feet, and the front of his pants are wet. He thinks his heart is going to stop because he cannot possibly imagine how this has happened. It's never happened before, and he knows that when the boys find out he will never hear the end of it. When the girls find out, they'll never speak to him again as long as he lives. The boy believes his heart is going to stop. He puts his head down and prays this prayer, Dear God, this is an emergency. I need help now. Five minutes from now I'm dead meat. He looks up from his prayer and here comes the teacher with a look in her eyes that says he has been discovered. As the teacher is walking toward him, a classmate named Susie is carrying a goldfish bowl that is filled with water. Susie trips in front of the teacher and inexplicably dumps the bowl of water in the boy's lap. The boy pretends to be angry, but all the while is saying to himself, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now all of a sudden, instead of being the object of ridicule, the boy is the object of sympathy. The teacher rushes him downstairs and gives him gym shorts to put on while his pants dry out. All the other children are on their hands and knees cleaning up around his desk. The sympathy is wonderful, but as life would have it, the ridicule that should have been his has been transferred to someone else, Susie. She tries to help, but they tell her to get out. You've done enough, you klutz. Finally, at the end of the day, as they are waiting for the bus, the boy walks over to Susie and whispers, You did that on purpose, didn't you? Susie whispers back, I wet my pants once too. Moral, all of us go through all good and bad things in life. We should always remember how we felt when we were in same condition and should not mock others for being in it. Welcome back from our story about wet pants and the moral of the story is we're all going to go through good things and bad things in our lives and it's how we handle it and how we treat people who are going through good things and bad things and it it kind of refers to uh, i was thinking about this situation yesterday i had with someone they asked me for something and i was trying to give it to them and they were going through a hard time and then what i was trying to give to them wasn't good enough and I felt bad. I said, wow, I could, I could be in that situation too. And it wasn't good enough. The stuff that I, they said, nah, I really, I, I don't want that. You know, I said, well, okay, all right. So I searched a little bit more and I found some more stuff that I could give to that person. They was like, mm. I waited for them. They never came back around. And my, my heart went out to that person because I see that person all the time. And, and I'm trying to be really patient with that person. And I, I always imagine myself, if, if I make a couple bad decisions down the road here, I could be in that same situation. So as I think about how I would want to be treated as that person, as I was looking for that those items, I felt kind of disrespect. I, I feel like I kind of disrespected him a little bit, how the the, tax, the, the tactics that I used. But I understand sometimes when you're thrown off a little bit, we forget that how we want to treat people in certain ways is just a little bit different. And we're all going to go through good things, bad things in our life. And that's why I, I always try to treat people with a lot of respect, no matter what race, what color um, they are. I just I just try to treat them with a lot of respect because you, you never know who's going to be that, that gatekeeper or that person who's going to make a difference in your life. And I, I just um, it's, a, it's a very hard topic. And, and as I look at look back at that story, how we all had something that happened to us and people want to laugh at us and and and. We want, you know, and there's something to happen to another person. We want to sit and laugh. And we're in that society now where we do a lot of sitting and laughing and oohing and on at people um, with our social media. I just I just looked at our looked at the Instagram and I wanted to say something negative, but I wanted to say something positive and I just left it alone. 
I said, I, they don't person, that person doesn't care what I have to say. They're happy. Um, I'm happy with it. My opinion really doesn't matter. So as I look and I, as I look back at how um, we have to remember how we felt we were in that same condition. And that's a life lesson for a lot of people. I'm trying to teach myself that, I'm trying to teach other people that. I was riding through um, the city this weekend and I saw so many sights and scenes and um and i very rarely um i for some reason i just wanted to just drive just want to drive around the city and just, just look at things and as i was looking at the city and and how some people were just down and out and i told myself that could be you that could be you in a few months if you don't keep yourself together so never think that you're too big and you're too bold and and think that you're better than a person, you know, you're riding a car now, they're, they're not doing as well as you are. But at one time, they, they probably were. And I said, wow, you know, as you look, and I should, should you know, not mocking people and, and thinking that we're better than anyone else, but just stay humble. And I just had an opportunity just a few minutes ago, um, someone who was walking walking by, and I just said, hey, how are you today? You know, nothing disrespectful, nothing um, outrageous. And they were kind of took, taken back that I said something to them. They thought I was going to say something negative to them. And I said, well, you know, hey, how are you doing? Good, good, good to hear that. Because a lot of times, you know, the people that we think that are above us or, or beneath us, we treat them like, you know, like we can just walk all over them and, and they have no rights or conditions whatsoever. But you got to understand, you might be in a situation one day where someone who looks at you and they go, wow, let's just walk all over this person, too. So, you know, it's that, that, that old saying, what goes around comes around. And if you throw out, you know, stuff all the time, you know, BS all the time, most likely it's going to come back to you. And as I watch people and as I see how some people are being treated, um, one thing about having children, they, they really mimic some of your behaviors that you have and how you treating people and how basically how they treating people. I was somewhere with my son um, this weekend and he mentioned to me we were doing something and some lady wanted to come by. So he opened the door for her and he said, dad, I'm using my manners, huh? I said, yeah, good job. But he's, you know, he's, he's watched me open doors for people that had, I, you know, I didn't know who these people were, but I, I just opened the door for them. It's just, you know, just being nice. Um, but we, we're in that society where sometimes we think being nice is, is a weakness and you're just going to get run over and all this other stuff. Yeah, it's not a weakness. It's just it's just something that you, you're a good, kind-hearted person. And a lot of times we think we have to be hard and tough and and, and to get our way. And I, I was just looking back um, at this video yesterday. I think I mentioned it before in a podcast where this uh, guy was walking down the street in these these teenage kids threw a trash can at him or threw some garbage at him. And then he started chasing him down, down the sidewalk or something like that. And I'm thinking to myself, they're going to be in that same situation one day where someone's going to be, they're going to be by themselves and someone's going to do something to them. And I was wondering how would they feel in that situation when someone's attacking them? It's not going to feel so good, you know, because some of that behavior you have, you know, you're in a group, you think you're stronger than the one person's by themselves. They didn't have to do all that. And that's what happens a lot. We we like to gang up on people. We like to um, push them down and, and, and treat them bad. It is, you know, it is is unacceptable in a lot of different ways how we treat people. And the thing that I watch myself is I have to really, really watch myself. Um, I was commenting on some things on social media this weekend. And I said, be careful with some things that you comment on. I said, because a lot of times I'm, I'm just I'm just going through the social media and I'm trying to respond as much as I can. But I said, you got to put some thought behind it, put some thought behind it, because those words that you're putting out there, like I'm putting verbal words out there right now and, and you know, written words on Instagram, Twitter. It has an effect on people. It's, it's a digital footprint. It's going to be out there. And I, I see so many people who are doing some amazing things with their podcasts and with their online presence. I'm like, wow, this is, this is pretty cool. But I have to realize with myself, I have to be careful what I say and, and what I reflect on because, you know, just because I may have a little bit more than the next person, I can't squash their dreams. Today, as I was going through um, to Instagram, 
I looked at some people and I said, wow, they just started their Instagram account and they didn't, you know, they had 30, 40 followers. And I said, hey, remember when you were there, how you felt when you started this thing, when you started this journey, don't get all high and mighty because you're at a certain number and that person not at a certain number. And I said, stay humble and, and, and stay after it. And that makes a big difference because a lot of times we get high on our horse. We go, oh, I got all these people that want to listen to me. And I said, just rein yourself back in, big boy. Rein yourself back in. And that's what I did. I reined myself back in. I, and all the listeners that I have, I, I appreciate that you spend that you, you spend time pushing that button and looking forward to seeing me um, upload things. And I've been doing a pretty good job of uploading things. Last night I was I uploaded an episode. And as soon as it went up, I had six people, um, not, you know, six people immediately, you know, 10 seconds, they were listening to what I had to say. And that kind of encouraged me to keep going. I said, but don't get the big head. Don't think that, you know, you work so hard to get those six people to listen to you. And, and you know, as soon as you put it up, don't neglect them. Don't look down at them. And that's what happens a lot of time. And as I look back at a lot of my situations that I have, um, you know, the thing is, it's okay to help someone. I'm thinking about this person. I got to help. I got to call them in the new year and they want to put out a podcast. They want to start things. And my job is to, you know, kind of be the guide on the side, help them in and help them in many ways as, as possible. And, you know, it's a very daunting task, but it can be done. It can be done in many different ways. And, and I'm looking forward to helping people and, and stretching this podcast as far as possible. As I was looking at some of the numbers that are coming in, and I looked at some numbers that I had and I was like, wow. And I just shook my head and I just said, nah, that's not, that's not your podcast. It is. But as I look back at that story, as I look back at that story, how people are going to try to help you, you're going to get a lot of people out there and you're going to, it's amazing how I'm, I'm a strong believer that, um, I'm a strong believer that yes, you, you will get your opportunity and, but there's going to be some people that are going to help you in your way, but be honest with you, if you treat them bad, you treat them rude, you treat them crude, they're not going to be around forever. They're not going to be around forever. And it's going to be very unfortunate that they're going to walk out because they don't like how you're being being treated. And as I watch certain people and I watch how certain people are being treated, it makes a big difference in how you, as a person who's producing things, is going to get treated. As I look at the story and look back at the story, how those people, you know, um, we're just snickering at people. And we have all been in that situation. I, I know myself, I just recently, I was in a situation where something, um, my zipper was down or something like that. My zipper was down and I didn't know. I just, you know, I didn't do it on act purpose or anything. And someone said, Hey, your, your, zip, your zipper's down. And I said, Oh, I said, I remember my, my cousin in Arizona says she, she's talk, she calls it a circle K. And I said, oh, my Circle K. And they person started laughing, like, Circle K, what is that? I said, oh, yeah, that's what we, we refer to our zippers as a Circle K. So what I did was, instead of being, you know, embarrassed about my zipper being down, I tried to laugh it off, make a joke about it. Because sometimes that's the best, that's the only thing you can do is laugh things off. Laugh things off and keep moving. You, you got to laugh things off and you got to keep moving because you got to realize you're trying to get to a certain goal in life. You're trying to get to a certain goal that you want to do. And if you want to just be all just sitting there on your wet pants and, and feeling bad for yourself, that's you. But there's going to be someone out there who's going to have that same compassion that's going to help you. But you got to look around for that person who's like, you know what, let me help this person out a little bit. Let me help this person get themselves together. And that's what I think a lot of times as a as adults and young people and, and humans, we always want to look down at people and, and, and criticize people. And I have to watch myself. And as we look at this situation, I have to look at myself is something happens and I can't be so overcritical. The first things that come out, my, come out of my mouth are negative and deeming words, looking down at that person. As I mentioned earlier, I was driving around the city and I, and I, I thought about all the people that I saw and I said, these people that are, you know, these are some resourceful people. And I saw some people who were doing some amazing things and, and out there hustling every day. Wasn't feeling sorry for themselves. 
wasn't waiting for this and that. They were helping each other. They were, um, they had a network going and they had a whole bunch of things that I said, wow, if they can do this, you, the, the things that you're doing, you, it's, it's no problem whatsoever, but you got to get yourself up. You got to keep moving. You got to keep grooving. And as you realize, you're going to have people that are going to help you. You can have a lot of people that, that are going to want to help you and want you to get better as a person. It is okay to, to help that person get up off the ground. It's okay to help that person who is, is having that hard time. But then the thing about it, you can help for so much, but then sometimes you got to let go because that person has to help themselves too. You can do so much where you don't want to enable that person so that they are always dependent on you if they fall off the tightrope tight rope or anything else that you're there to catch them. Sometimes as I watch myself, there's some things that I fail at and some things I do really well, but the things that I fail at, I have to think about, okay, what did I do well? And the things that I did well, like, well, how can I continue doing these things? Well, what's the best use of my time? As I look back at a lot of things that I want to do and a lot of things that, you know, my family wants to do, I got to make sure that I stay humble. I stay really humble as I take this podcast to a next level. As it goes and gets bigger and bigger, I got to make sure that I'm on my game every day. And I'm not looking down at the people who podcast aren't, aren't as, you know, polished as mine or whatever. And mine is not far from being polished. It's just, it's, but I got to always continue working and, and looking for people's advice. And as I look out there and I listen, listen to different people, podcast every day, I'm like, oh, I like that. I like that. That person's helping me. They don't realize they're helping me, but they are. And I'm thinking that there's so many resources out there to get better, but there's so many people that out there that you can use to get better. And that's what it's all about. Try to find someone who's going to be in your corner, who's going to help you. And once they help you, it's okay to say, you know what? Thank you for helping me. But let me, let me see if I can do it by myself. But I, I know if I need you, need you, I'll call you. But if I don't, don't feel offended. I still need you to help me. But you've done enough for now. And that's what it's all about for me is helping the next person up, get them out the mud, get them out whatever they're in and pushing them to greatness. And I, I uh, before I, I go, I was um, one of my followers. He went live on the on the Instagram and I jumped in and he was, this person was just putting him down and telling him how, man, you only have three followers and you quit the last time and you can't rap. You can't do anything. Just putting the guy down. And I jumped in and I said, Hey, don't worry about it. There's someone out there who's going to be supporting you. Don't, don't, don't listen to that stuff. Use that feel, listen to them, but use it at to keep you motivated. So there's some people out there who, and he, he looked at what I said and he's like, what, what kind of stuff is this? He wasn't used for a positive comment. He was so used for all these negative comments. As we get out of here, I want to thank you again for t- tuning into the Parafair today. And thanks for all the wonderful comments that are coming our way. As we continue to get bigger and better and keep striving for excellence, uh, remember, you know, we're all going to go through good and bad things in life. But we should also remember how we felt if we we're in the same condition. So um, let's be more kind to each other out there. And we will see you on the next one. Bye bye. has come to an end but the fun doesn't have to stop here if you have any questions suggestions or feedback head over right now to twitter and facebook and like share and get involved join us next time